Welcome to Tanner's Tuesday. Sorry I missed last week. I'm filming this video for the third time. If you are following things on social media, Amanda Bynes is back on Twitter. She has been gone from Twitter since like May of this year. If you were following her last year around this time, she was tweeting, Drake is ugly, this person's ugly, this person's ugly, going on Twitter rants about just everything. Recently I was at school and I was on Twitter and I was scrolling through my timeline and I saw that Amanda Bynes had a secret Twitter account. So, and I love Amanda Bynes. I'm not bashing on her in any way. She's one of my favorite actresses. I just really, really love Amanda Bynes. I was on Twitter and I saw that she had a secret Twitter account and the Twitter account is Persian LA 27 and so I was like yes I was like Amanda is back like I was so ecstatic I followed her I was going through all her tweets and you know she is she's a little insane I wish she wasn't crazy I wish she was like there's obviously something wrong with her and she needs help I was going through her tweets and it said I need my future husband to love me the way that I love him and that's just kind of odd. She's claiming that this Persian LA is not her, um, but she tweeted, Amanda is bad, I am good. Then she also tweeted, anyone who calls me Amanda gets blocked. I don't like her, thanks in advance. Well, I just think that Amanda wants attention, like, cause she's been out of the media for so long, cause she was in the media last year and she went to fashion school and everything, everything was going fine and then this is all happening again. She has an android right now, people were making fun of her because of it. She tweeted out, it's easier for them to track me on an iPhone. So that's kind of giving us, yes, this is Amanda Bynes, this is her account, she's using it. Then she tweets, Keep your Ebola away from me. My unborn baby and I cannot get sick. We are far too gorgeous. Thanks. I just don't understand. I mean, I understand why she's tweeting this. She's kind of crazy, but she wants attention. Even if it's good attention or bad attention, it's still attention and people crave that. Recently, TMZ did a story on her and she went into this store and she had this like $200 hat on and I guess she walked out of the store without purchasing the hat and she said that she could not get a hold of her driver, her purse was in the car, and that was her story and the store let her go. But I mean, it's, that's shoplifting. You don't just walk out of the store with a $200 hat. Then she tweets, please don't talk to the media. I just want to live a normal life in New York City with my future husband and unborn child. Again, the future husband and unborn child thing is just a little weird. Like I said, TMZ made that story about her. She's suing TMZ, In Touch Magazine, and Stars. I don't know, she's just going off the deep end on this. And then she's tweeting from her real account too. She's like going off, and like a lot of these tweets are being deleted. I'm not insane, and they lied about me in every way. She tweeted that. This is going around on Twitter, this uh, particular tweet with the caption like, when I get my report card or something that says, they continue to write lies about me and it really hurts my feelings because they are calling me insane and I'm actually really smart. Um, she's really smart because she's getting all this attention, but I love Amanda Bynes, so I don't care. And then she tweets, this is, this is sane, this is actually Amanda. So I'm literally on the cover of so I'm literally on the cover of every magazine right now. Like, th this is what she wants. Like, I just, this is what, this is what Amanda wants and she's getting it. If the magazines would please stop acting like I need mental help, I would really appreciate it. Well, from the things you're tweeting, Amanda, it does seem like you need mental help. This is from Perez Hilton's website. We're honestly worried about Amanda Bynes as everyone is observing her questionable mental state on Twitter today. After claiming her father, Rick Bynes, physically and mentally abused her as a child, the actress is now refuting the statement, explaining a microchip implanted in her brain was controlling her mind. Soon after her mom, Lynn, reached out to press with a statement professing Amanda's dad's innocence, she tweeted, my dad never did any of those things. The microchip in my brain made me say those things, but he's the one that ordered them to microchip me. Remember when Amanda claimed that InTouch Weekly printed false stories about her, even though the mag can reportedly prove she spent an entire day with a reporter on October 5th. Amanda Bynes apparently told them she thought people were in her head, which would totally go along with today's odd tweets. 
Amanda tweeted, I want a dollar a day for every person who is reading my mind. And Perez goes on to say, hopefully someone can get her the help she needs very soon because we're afraid she might try something more drastic than just tweeting. Which is true, we care about Amanda, she needs help, like this cannot keep going on. Amanda Bynes has been hospitalized and placed on involuntary psychiatric hold. Which is a good thing because no one should be tweeting that stuff, we love Amanda, but... Some people just go crazy. Hopefully this is just her phase. She, okay, she's been in this phase for quite a while, but um, hopefully she'll get out of it somehow. I just wanted to update you because Amanda Bynes is one of my favorite people, actresses, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. It literally takes you two seconds, just thumbs it up. And tweet this video out, tweet it to Amanda, maybe she'll watch it. Follow me on Twitter, I'm on Twitter all the time. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the background sound pretty bye and she says i wish that i could be like the cool kids